Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. My name is Abdul Rahim and you are watching Technology Information Channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about all type of power wizard genset controller the relay wirings a lot of my electrician friend and my generator technician and electrician friends is confused in a relay in starting circuits of the power wizard or emcp some model 3.1 3.2 3.3 and also power wizard 1.1 and 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 okay but the relay connection and starting circuit is a uh, same okay first of all we need to the supply of the controller and then input of the relay and output of the relay total information in this video before the starting the video a small request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more let's update videos so let's get started first of all we need to figure out the input supply of the PAL power wizard okay the all power wizard controller input supply is a when you see in a Seventy pin connector behind the controller, as you can see here. This one. Here we have a small tiny pins, okay, like this type, and one Allen key bolt inside the, the seventy pin connector. Okay, inside this all connector and all pins have. Let me. This is the Allen key bolt and here we have small tiny pins which is start from 1 to 70. Okay. If you look at an inside closely, each pin have a numbers and on upper. Okay, like this way. 1, 3, 4 and till to 70. The pin 65 is a battery negative input of the controller okay and pin 52 is a battery positive input of the all type of power wizard controller okay if your power wizard controller not turning on if you have problem your power wizard not turning on First of all, you need to check all the fuses and circuit breakers in a control panel box. Okay. If fuses and circuit breakers, everything is okay and still not turning on or your power visit controller. You need to check input supply in pin 52 and pin 65 in a 70 pin connector. Okay. If you have battery voltage 24 or 12 volt that means your supply is coming to this controller okay then if your supply is coming to controller and still controller is not running on that means your controller is faulty okay now let's explain me the relay working of the relay and how to uh, input to uh, uh, how the input and output of the relay is working as you can see our all type of power wizard or EMCP have inside internally build up small type of relay okay it's very low rating output relay maximum 10 10 amps okay you can only operate the another big size relay coil through this small tiny relay of the controller okay as you can see here relay 1 relay 2 relay 3 relay 4 relay 5 and relay 6 and relay 7 relay 8 
some relay is spare relay but some relay is pre-programmed from the factory understand as you can see this relay is used for for the starting okay this relay is used for the to turning on the fuel system okay this relay is used to turning on the air shut off solenoid okay this is used to for the alarm okay this is used to audible alarm okay once a time you understand the one relay wiring structure and winding diagram you can easily doing all the wiring diagram of the all type of power wizard controller in all relays okay let me show you how the relay work diagram is as you can see pin 51 and pin 60 one okay this is your common NC okay and this is your input supply this is your output supply this is your input supply this is your input supply this is your output supply okay this is our output supply okay first of all we provided negative and positive to controller controllers make sure control is turning on and then as you can see here we need to give this positive supply to the pin 61 from the battery okay and also as you can see positive supply and then positive positive supply and then positive supply okay for example we use we use a negative supply for the fuel control relay okay take a negative wire and provide it to pin 58 and then out from the pin 58 to control the fuel relay okay or fuel relay it's no contact okay provided the negative to the to the relay coil side okay and provided positive to the relay another coil side when the controller send the negative supply to the relay the relay will energized okay take the positive supply and provide it to relay no and then out from the relay no to the fuel solenoid okay fuel solenoid one side is a grounded one side is a positive okay as you can see what will happen when we crank when we push this green button of the controller the controller first of all send the positive voltage from here to the starter motor relay here we have starter motor relay this is the relay coil side positive to positive okay uh, and relay negative side is grounded and we are here we have you know and then you know out okay and that's going to the starter motor S terminal okay when we press the green button of the controller the controller instantly uh, turning on the fuel relay and to turn on the fuel and also send the starting command to the starting relay and starting relay is energized is you know converted to NC and then send signal to the starting S terminal of the starter motor okay the engine cranking hour and also fuel is on to the injector system and engine is cranking and finally engine goes to start okay this is the relay wiring diagram this is this small relay have only NO and NC switches this is our relay is NO okay when this relay is, is uh, energized this converted to NC understand this is the all power wizard relay basics uh, I hope to watch this video to understand thanks for watching this video see you all next time goodbye